Emily Larder is a 29-year-old primary school teacher from Worcestershire. She currently lives with her adopted son Adam, a six-year-old boy she met when she traveled to Uganda in 2014 to volunteer. When she got to Uganda in her gap year, volunteering at an orphanage, she found a five-day-old baby named Adam whose mother had tragically died shortly after his birth. It was love at first sight, and seeing how tough things were for the little one, she decided to adopt him and take him with her back to the UK. After five years of legal bills and court appearances, Emily was finally able to take her adopted son to the UK. Emily shared footage of the moments her little kid made at home. Viewers quickly fell in love with the SH Adam who could be seen hiding beneath a cushion, getting accustomed to his new home. Recalling her journey with Adam, Emily said that she'd been traveling a lot, but her trip to Uganda was different. She volunteered at an orphanage there, helping workers take care of many orphans who lost their parents tragically. A few weeks after she got there, her colleagues and her were summoned to go pick up a baby boy whose mother had passed away. When asked about how she immediately knew it was a lasting connection, Emily said that the charity director asked her to be his one-to-one -one caregiver, as the orphanage had a lot of children and the newborn baby needed intensive care. She immediately agreed and grew attached very quickly to the little guy. Emily was only 22 at the time and Adam was just five days old. She was actually only scheduled to stay for two months, but she ended up staying for seven and a half. Even though she wanted to stay longer with her protege, she had to return to the UK as she needed money. When she got back to her home country, she crammed as many jobs as she could to be able to pay regular visits to little Adam. Even when he was a small baby, she knew it would be difficult to say goodbye. And at the time, she didn't think that adopting him was even a possibility. However, once she found out that she could actually raise the little Adam as her own, she started the procedures immediately. Emily said that the adoption procedure started just before he turned two. She moved out to adopt him as she needed to first foster for a year before she could apply to adopt. The entire process was long and filled with setbacks. Something always went wrong, whether it was missing paperwork, court dates being canceled or names being misspelled on paperwork. It was just one thing after another and eventually, the adoption process in Uganda took three years. She stayed with him in Uganda for a total of four and a half before returning to the UK. The whole thing was difficult and then COVID came along. Everything was closed on the day of his passport appointment, which delayed their trip home even more. Emily described the moment she and Adam arrived at the Birmingham airport with joy. They were picked up by her parents whom Adam had been corresponding with for years but had never met in person. Little Adam gets along swimmingly with them and enjoys his time with them. He now not only has a mother who loves him, but he also has loving grandparents who treat him like he was of their own flesh and blood. In terms of adoption procedures, the host Dermot O'Leary said that Emily will actually have to start over now that she is in the UK. Even though Adam was in the United Kingdom on a visa, and his visa allows him to go to school, benefit from health care and everything, Emily is not legally recognized as his mother there. She has to go through the entire adoption procedure all over again. The young adoptive mother says that she's enlisted the help of social workers and other professionals. She is even preparing a court application. However, since he was there with her, her concerns only grew bigger, afraid of not being able to take care of him financially. Emily set up a GoFundMe website to help her adopt Adam. While she initially only expected friends and family to contribute, her story took off and she received more funds than she thought she would. When Emily got back to her country, she got a job at an international school only to lose it after a few months. Seeing her distress, someone suggested she open her own school and take things into hands. However, since she had no idea what she was going to do, as the job market was saturated because of the pandemic, she went ahead and opened her own school, only for things to go horribly wrong. Emily was in true financial distress when she brought Adam, and she was grateful to everyone who helped her get over distress. She says that she couldn't have done it without the help of a lot of people who follow her on social media. As for Adam, when he was asked about his mother, Adam, who was hiding under a pillow, replied with a trembling voice, I prefer sleeping with my mummy. While it is true that adoption can be a challenging process, the ultimate result is worth the struggle. Bringing your child home for the first time is a surreal experience 
as you realize that the journey is finally coming to an end and that you can finally hold your child in your arms. Having a child at home is one of life's most beautiful blessings. Children can offer a whole new sense of wonder to a home with their laughter and never-ending questions. They make life exciting and full to the brim. While it is true that in a home with a child there is always something going on, it can be difficult for adoptive parents to adjust from a quiet home to one filled with sounds and laughter, and find a parenting style that suits their adopted children. Even the most prepared or experienced parents will find that they must change and develop alongside their adopted child. When adopting a child with a different background, some things might alter and adjustments must be made to ensure a welcoming environment for the child. Even though it can be hard at times, this actually improves your life by allowing you to grow as a person and as a parent and give you a great sense of empathy to deal with whatever issues your adopted children might have. It is perfectly normal for them to battle with challenges from their past long after they've returned home, as most of them have dark pasts that will continue to affect them long after they're adopted into a loving home. The best you can do when their past pays them a visit is to comfort your child and tell them about their new life in your family. As you help your child in growing and breaking free from parts of their history, you will also strengthen your ties to them and learn to see the world from their perspective. When it gets hard, remember that a lot of people in your community see you as the family who adopted a kid, and you are showing others that love knows no bounds and that adoption is giving an abandoned kid a place in your heart and home. As an adoptive parent, you will also discover traits in your child that you and your spouse share. Despite the fact that they might not be yours, they will eventually pick up a lot of your qualities and habits. The nurturing part is vital for an adopted child, as it will define who they become when they grow up and how they let or not their past affect them. While you won't be able to share everything with your child, there will be some little similarities that will surprise you, and you'll be amazed to see how deep your connection to them really is. This is one of the unsaid ways in which adoption unites a family. Despite the lack of physical resemblance, it's quite reassuring for an adoptive parent to find out that they share a lot with their adoptive child than they first thought. With all the challenges that adoption entails, the moments of despair and the occasional heartaches, it also has its bright side and good moments. Bringing a child into your life as your own will undoubtedly transform you as a family as you learn to grow together and be gentle with each other's bruises and past scars. With all the joys it has, the most notable one about adoption is the fact that you're changing your child's life forever.